Anybody we won't fight you Man that come there already know I'll be right beside you I'm a hajin egg with it And I'm a big you Fresh and clean me looking say to notify Obinigwe 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 They don't know, they don't know, they don't know what's going on. Wanna kiss you, wanna kiss you. Machala, 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 machala. Onye jihemu eta para mia, because what goes up must shut come down. Welcome back to Modest Lifestyle. If you are new here, my name is Modesta. Do well to join the family if you haven't. My returning subscribers, the Modest Nation, I see you all. Yes, I see you, Koro Koro. Thank you for your massive love and support. It's a reaction video. <laughs> Who made it to the temple? <laughs> of course, you and I. What is this? Lazy people everywhere. If you love me, I love you, Woto Woto. I love you like tomorrow, no day. You understand? It's, it's a very simple mathematics. I love you back. You give it to me. Hey! I give it to you. What is this? You guys are too much. But if you don't love me, this round table is not for you. Marwa Ami, where on a day? Huh? Hey! Who else is on this table? Meanwhile, grab whatever that is grabbable. Me. You guys know what time it is. Coco Mama will be sending down this 1.4 liters as we are gisting. Open that fridge. We cannot do this just by looking. You understand? <laughs> hey, we need to mingle and tangle. What is this? Five something. Sharp, sharp. Five something. Sharp, 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 sharp. Let's get this gist started. Lazy people everywhere. Where is my backpacker? <laughs> People are still looking for our cocoa girl. I told you guys to relax. No news means good news. We don't need to panic, guys. Coco girl is in a safe hand. Coco girl is just marinating, you know? Putting body and soul together. It's very, very what? Important. If you don't like how Coco Mama talks with her dirty mouth, you better excuse us. You see, this content is not strictly for adult and strong minds. People that understand life, people that have experienced life, this channel is not for babies, you understand? Mm -hmm. So excuse us and look for Cartoon Network, please. Mm -hmm. So that is that one. Guys, who is on this table? You remember I shared Austin Holyman's story with Kisha. Kisha is the Rwandan girl. Their video got viral and then invited her over for couple thing i told you guys that this this i didn't i say this thing in my last video that this one will expire i told you guys so after austin holliman did that video of him telling his audience oh all the generous givers thank you so much thank you so much for your donation um we managed to get our ticket we 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 we, we. come and see american wonders 
this was the only man is really acting. Come and see drama. Guys, within a few minutes, this guy has gone to Mombasa all by himself. What happened to Kisha? We don't know. Kisha, Kisha that we saw very clearly that from day one, this girl is ready for relationship. This guy is now claiming that what he saw, he didn't like. Where is Kisa? We want to hear from Kisa. People are giving it to him in his community. People are dishing it to him. Some people were even telling him, we expected you to show us more in Mombasa. I don't know why some of these audience cannot read in between the lines. As soon as I clicked on this hey, video, there's another clip I want us to watch. Okay? <laughs> because my tired at this point is tired. Just take a look at his tattoo. He will come and say that this channel is not Pop Spot Bro channel. You are saying this thing with your tongue, but your action is saying something different. If Kisa has done something to you that you didn't like, uh, demanding too much from you, there's no way you will not share at least a clip of it. The only thing we are seeing now is join my members only to know why I went to Mombasa alone without Kisa. Meanwhile, you have bought the ticket. Eh? Did he even buy any ticket? These are all signs and symptoms of what? Activating donation. Now, these people donating, they are frustrated, miserable, miserable in the comment section. And I don't even feel sorry for them. They have not even seen anything. Because this guy, from day one, you can tell that this guy is not into this girl. Everything that he was doing is his mouth service. No passport brother is ready to settle with one Toto. I don't know how these girls, do they even check his channel? Probably he's not sharing his channel with them. Because if you go to his channel, you will see that a few days ago, he was with another lady. So what makes you think that after spending time with you, that he will not look for another person? What makes you think that you are special or your Toto is special? Maybe your Toto got some gold juice or something, we don't know. What is this? Eh? Maybe your Toto got some extra juice, better than the others, that will make him to settle with you. Hey, guys, I don't even know how to usher in. You know, the backpackers that we brought here today, they fall my hand from A to Z. All of them, Magic K, the collaboration he did with Vlog with Mickey, 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 you know, Mickey Mouse. The Virginia's girlfriend. Is it girlfriend or girl? Hey, confusion is everywhere. Eh? Chef Matiko is still on this table. Guys, I was so proud of Chef Matiko yesterday. Oh, guys, can you see how content is done? Can you see how he saved up some money to put smile on his mom's face? Dude was begging him. Hey! <laughs> As soon as I saw him with Nasto, I said, you see, as soon as I saw him with Nasto, Mayogunoko enter, come drop himself on the floor. Of course, Mayogunoko told him, dude, you cannot do this. Are you stupid? You can't do this alone. You need to activate donation by telling very lovely upbringing story that he shared. I'm going to cut some clips for you guys. Eh? I'm going to share. <laughs> but uh, Coco Mama, in fact, this morning, I am tired. I'm doing this video. I hope you guys enjoy that intro. Even though there's intro to build up my... I don't I my Friday, for the past two weeks now, my Friday videos are always emotional one. Hey! I reject it. I don't want to be this moody on Fridays. I want to be happy. Because this weekend, I have to be in the happiest mood. Once I click on this person, I'm seeing red flags. I click on this person, I'm seeing Joro. I click on this person, I'm seeing lies smelling everywhere. Now, let's concentrate on Austin Holliman. <laughs> Passport Brothers, he has a tattoo. Look at it. It's on your screen and tell me. He has a tattoo with his face. It's very clear that this guy is Passport Bro, Passport Bro, Passport Bro, Pro Mass. <laughs> hey! Extra passport brother Chairman He's not even hiding it So what do you expect He will do everything possible To keep passport rolling Paul must be rolling No matter what No matter how beautiful No matter how special your Toto is 
he must jump to the next one. That is what? The aim, that's the vision. Look at the tattoo. Passport bro. Enlightened Western man. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, yeah, I don't know. Written clearly. This tattoo, there's also a symbol. This is their symbol. You see, understand? It's more like a society now. What do you think? There's another clip that I want us to watch sharp sharp before we continue with this Kisha. Hey, I feel sorry for Kisha. There is always three sides to every story. You can't come and be yabbing a public figure like you. You've got no respect for this. They, it's, it's expected. They are they, it's expected, guys. You think these guys have respect or feelings at all for women? No. Otherwise, tell me this poor child. You're gonna come and destroy her reputation publicly like this. Oh, what I saw, I didn't like it. When she was in Rwanda and you left her, why did you bring her back? And after you use her to make views, after you use her to collect all these donations, you push her one side. Didn't I tell you guys? <laughs> I'm happy the way his audience also, they are seeing it little, little, little. They, can, they, are, they are dishing it to him. They are giving it to him. Mm -hmm. A Zambia woman rejects us in Holy Man and he's crying about it. Guys, let's watch. Hey, this was before Kisha came. Um, so, Aston Holman put out this tweet. My experience dating in Zambia, American flake rate, extremely poor communication skills, indecisiveness. Uh, the I will touch you, but you can't touch me. The misleading and leading on may as well have just stayed in Texas. <laughs> My God, when I read this first, I was laughing because you could hear, you could like, you could hear the frustration. You could hear him crying. And I was like, yes, 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 because finally. Finally, it looks like, you know, Zambian women know who this guy is and they're like, no, we're not dealing with you. Like, it almost looked like, you know, they just are hiding from him. They're like, um, when they meet him, they're like, oh, you know what? Um, they flake on him. Um, I mean, there is this... Um, this thing that always confuses me about this passport bros who denigrate to demonize you know women and then they think other women would find that attractive like other women can for example if i were in africa and if i were watching all the things Austin was saying about black American women. I would be so offended. I wouldn't even want to meet him. I wouldn't want to be, you know, with a person like Austin Holman talking about what uh, women's vagina smells like. I mean, that kind of talk would be offensive. Exactly. If you listen to what comes out of his mouth, what comes out of his mouth is dirty, dirty, dirty. He's thinking how he insulted his own kind, how he insulted women, how he has been insulting women of color. What comes out of his mouth is disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. And I still cannot believe it. Some of his audience were like, oh, ah, people are saying that you are using Kisha. Actually, Kisha used you. How did Kisha use him? Did you see his tweets when he went to Zambia? This was about nine days ago. He was disappointed to his boss. He said, I would rather stay in Texas rather than staying with this kind of women that will not be all over me. Like, there's another one that he dropped on his community yesterday. He was like, hey, dude are hiding their babes once they see me. Something like that. Eh? Hey! Some women knew about this guy. You know, there's the way you will see someone, you'll be like, ah, this person is too nice to be true. This person, ah, this one will wet my pillow the whole night. I would rather remain single than to go for this kind of a person. Some women, some wise women. You understand? That's why Zambian women rejected him. Don't touch me. Why should you touch me? I don't know you from anywhere. You quickly want to touch me. 
the worst part of it is putting camera on their faces. That one is even the one that, eh? <laughs> Extremely poor communication skill. Like seriously, how can he complain that Zambian women cannot communicate? Like it's the whole Zambia, eh? Among all the Zambian girls that he met, nobody could communicate. Like seriously, he must be kidding me. He also said, they, I will touch you, but you can't touch me. Yes, they are reserved. You can't let a woman that just met you be crazy about you immediately. They are reserved like that. Guys, I told you that one thing with this passport broke people. They want women to go higgy -hack. They want women to go gaga for them. They want women to go crazy for them. So that when they leave you, because it's a one night stand kind of thing. So when they leave you, you will not feel bad. There will be no trace. Even if you have like private conversation with this kind of dudes. Hey, it will still be the same, one-sided. Smelling all over. You know that kind of stuff. Like he has to make sure that you want him. Not otherwise. Because it's something what? Temporary. So this Kisha, let's go to his community. Because I want us to watch this clip, okay? Let's watch first. Let's watch uh, this Mombasa, American Wonders Mombasa trip. Within a few minutes, do this in Mombasa and he's out. How can you buy a plane ticket to go to Mombasa and you're already out? Yeah! Liars everywhere! Hmm. You see this online begging, eh? It comes in different forms and shapes. And if you don't know, <laughs> your money you will be working for them while they are enjoying he discharged kisha because kisha's story is what fading he has gotten his views he has done whatever he wants to do with her. now it's time for her this is a girl that said that she may want to stay in nairobi because of austin Once austin she wants to stay in nairobi with austin she's enjoying herself you guys heard it go back to my yesterday's reaction on this and see to yourself this girl made it very clear even their viral video they took in rwanda this girl was like i'm gonna call you and austin said i'm not gonna call you on camera austin told her i'm not gonna call you let's go and watch and then read some comments hey uh, i feel so sorry for these young children eh? so can you see how confused this guy is American women are bad. Now, in Africa, African women are bad. Now, can't you see that you are the problem? Can't you see that you are the problem? In Zambia, Zambian women are leading and misleading. Zambian women want you to be all over them, touching, touching, touching. They don't want to return back. You wanted them to go crazy. Eh? <laughs> someone, there's a comment that someone said, you are always uh, downgrading yourself. You need to go a bit higher like like i'm like so this person cannot understand what is going on here that this dude is not ready to settle down with any woman yeah mm. let's watch guys morning everybody it's austin holloman i am on the way to the airport it's about 10 20 my flight leaves at 1 p.m to mombasa like i said i'm going to mombasa by myself if you would like to know why click this video here sign up for members only to find out but it's good to know that i'm getting away from the gloomy chilly weather over here in nairobi i'm gonna give it a few more weeks to warm back up but i'm only gonna be going a few days and in my basa it's sunny and it's a beach city so the weather's gonna be a lot different there <sighs> you guys if somebody's taking away your peace take them out of your life because last situation i was in uh, I think there's negative energy, negative spirits in my damn house now. I need to go buy some sage and do a, a, a full ritual blessing around the house. And I need to figure out how to get these negative spirits out of my mind. Because every time I come to Nairobi, I'm full of energy. I love it. It's exciting. I stayed here a month. I was full of energy the entire time. And that time, coming back every single day, just being around someone, it was just draining. Fuck that, man. It was just draining. It took away my peace and my enjoyment of the city. So you get rid of that person. You guys should leave me alone. Leave me in my small corner. That's how I feel. I feel like you can't go to Mombasa 
on a Tuesday. Not only that, you are also jetting out. You spent over hundred dollar to buy the ticket. Meanwhile, the clip that I shared yesterday, he said that they already bought their tickets. I, I mean, him and Kisha. He already bought ticket for Kisha as well. And there's another thing that is inconsistent here. He kept saying, we, we, we. Meanwhile, you traveled alone. <laughs> hey, I don't get it. You guys should go back and watch because me, I'm not ready to come and share someone's content here. You know, we are collecting it clip by clip, small, small. Now, it's up to you to go and see what I'm seeing. Make sure you visit the comment section as well because we are going to read some comments now. This person said, Kisha and all African ladies coming upon these men, do not give off yourself to them. They have no concern or care for you. They want you only to satisfy their fleshy desire. They say so themselves in their comments. They just want to feel good. Period. Eh? Once they test, tell us next chapter. Learn from this experience and teach others who might fall into this trap. What these men do not realize is that it is they who will fall into these traps. They set for others. Seek God and pursue the purpose he has for you. Yes, you are, as an individual, have a purpose given by God. Yes, you are that special. Do not lose focus because of this derailments. <laughs> hey, I really feel sorry for our native young girls falling for these guys. All the praises they were pouring on her. Now, everyone here is talking about shit about her today. LOL. Human beings will never stop to amaze. I hope she will forgive herself for the stupid decision she made to meet. I'm sure if he hits you up, you will definitely go meet him. You all the same. Talk trash about a man you really desire. Eh? <laughs> Why in a hurry? You are passport brother. It's not like you have nine to five. You just came to Mombasa and you're already out without showing anything. Hey! Some people were even advising him, you can do better, show us around. From him going into that plane, of course, this one, he can collect it from another location. Remember, he just came from Zambia. You guys should be thinking about these things. You see, people are still donating. This person just dropped donation for him in the comment section. Where is dude? Nothing. Hey! People are still popping in the money. See how they are insulting this girl about her forehead. This person said, hold on. He isn't talking about the pretty big forehead chick. Is he? You saying she drained your energy. Hey! You see, they are calling her forehead. Another person said, more like a five head. But I didn't say it. Hey! And someone said, is this really necessary? That is the unique look of East African women. Exactly. Is it necessary to come and shame a woman because of forehead? This is the way God created her. She didn't create herself. You people should be fearing God. All these commenters. Eh? Hey! Oh, Austin liked my comment. Forehead to no head. <laughs> come and see how they were insulting this girl. I really feel sorry for this girl. Then there's another comment where someone was telling us that bring this girl so that we will hear the side of her story. Guys, I don't want to waste our time talking about Austin Goleman because the truth of the matter here is he is on a mission. He's not ready to settle down with any woman. No matter how beautiful that woman is. Eh? Hey, he is not ready to settle down at all, at all, at all. It's as simple as that. Can we move now to another beggar? In a yabo hands, Chef Matiko. Hey, Chef Matiko dropped this video yesterday. I'm going to play it out. Give me some time. Let me explain. Eh? <laughs> While doing his premiere, of course, he was sharing his upbringing, rough upbringing. I didn't even know that Chef Matiko is cousin to Nasto. He said that their place was bad, 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 bad. The zinc, the roof was leaking, leaking, leaking. Of course, due to constant rain and it got to a point that he had to move to Nasto's place so it means that Nasto's house was better than his own house he shared all that shared all that then during his premiere he pinned this comment and he's asking for PayPal donation to support his mom's project hey I said 
Who advised you, Chef Matiko? Chef Matiko, begging is not allowed. Nobody forced you to build a house for your mom. You see now, I did a very nice video yesterday. As soon as I saw this one, I felt like vomiting. Honestly speaking, guys. Yes, he's a good storyteller. I enjoy his content too. But why begging? Who advised you? Your cousin? Nasto. <laughs> or Mayoguno. They already taught you that you, you can ask. You can ask for help. Stylishly, during premiere. Your PayPal is already there. People can see that you are popping out money to put smile on your mom's face. If it touches them to support, they will. On their own, without you asking. Guys, at this point, eh, <laughs> this thing runs in the Yabuhanze Street. So you see this bagging thing? Remember, it comes in different forms and shapes. If you watch his content, you will not see him going direct. They have a way of, you know what I mean, eh? Hey, smart begging. You got to be smart. You cannot just say, guys, all this story that I'm telling you, how rough my upbringing was, eh? How we couldn't eat, even breakfast, nothing. Lunch, we are only drinking this diluted juice with water. And eating small mandasi for the whole day. Hey, some days we will not even eat at night. Our roof was leaking. Our house was in a mess. We will go to farm without food. We were doing this, doing that. Go to school without shoes. Eh? Go to school with torn uniform. It was rough, 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 rough. Everybody, almost most of us here that grew up in Africa, can relate to this hey me i wanted to share my own story i will still share it maybe in one of my vlogs mm -hmm. I, I really want to share mine because these people they think that they are the only ones that have gone through stuff they think that they are the only ones that have this rough upbringing i'm not saying that everybody in africa suffered i can understand it's not everybody that have gone through this some people were lucky enough to come from well to do family like their parents have already made it in life so they don't have to suffer they go to school with a private car they have a driver that is already waiting for them they go to school with full cost meal on a more serious note eh? they go on vacation they do all those stuff but most of us also we've seen stuff you understand why begging why asking oh guys donate to my paypal I don't understand these guys. All the way from Spain, nobody forced you to come and be doing foundation for your mom. Nobody asked you to come and do this. You don't ask for donation to build a house. House is an investment. I don't know how you guys... Nobody forced you. You have check your pocket and you don't have enough money. You can. You might as well. Chef Matiko, stop this. You are bigger than this. You fall my hand, though. I'm really disappointed. I have to be honest. Yesterday, I was hyping you, thinking that you are different from... This is Yabuhanze boys. At this point, you guys are all the same. I place you, <laughs> whether you are from abroad, whether you are you have a Spanish woman, or you coming from abroad, you, you are from Europe, you are all the same. You are all the same. The difference is that you guys take different angles when you are begging. Some will come from this direction. Some will go from, some will drop themselves on the floor. Every minute they are on the floor. I want to faint. Eh? You think you are the only one that can faint? <laughs> Guys, Chef Matiko is begging. Hey, I cannot believe it. Guys, let's watch his clip. Let's cut some. Let's cut some onions from his clip, guys. Hey. So, I used to be a street kid sometime. And that's why I always say I'm a, a community. I'm a community kid. So, with the help of people, I could manage. So, guys, welcome to my home. I want to show you uh, where we used to live and how we relocated and why we are constructing my mama's house. I want to show you our old house, then uh, our second house, then now our third house. Yeah? So that you get the picture and the idea. So, guys, welcome to our home and. Uh, I want to show you around so that you get the picture, you get to know. 
what is going on and why is it going on and even if it's a small project why i really appreciate it and when i used to open the window uh these are the trees that separated us between marwa i am marwa for those people who know i am marwa is a great youtuber and uh so this is i am uh, uh family so the, the only thing that separated us even this wall was not there back then was just uh, flowers, just a natural fence, yeah? So when I opened the window, we could even communicate with them. And this house here was my grandmother's house. It's still my grandmother's house. So what happened, this house here, it was just like this. It's not that, uh, it's only that the holes now because of the rain. So also this house, my grandmother used to rent it at some... Uh, uh, at some uh, price but I remember like all the money used to give to the family and this one here we used to live here I used to stay here so I first I used to I want you to understand I used to share, share the room with my sister when I was very young but when I got adolescence uh, when I got to adolescence age I my my grandmother gave me a room here I even here to enter because Wow. So this was my room. This one. I don't know, maybe somebody's in. So this was my room. I used to live here. And you can see the space. Yeah, like the space is up here is a very big space. And this was this one was also rented. So this space was shared with everybody. So they think uh, I think they put bricks right here. I went here to enter. So because the the house broke down, we constructed this. It it is a two room. So we constructed this house, me and my father. So again, as my father was alcoholic. That's why even today I fear even taking alcohol because my family does not do well with alcohol. It has a bad history of alcohol. I can go to the club party, do my things, but I don't take alcohol because I grew up with people who drink alcohols i think they affected my life so much relatable story relatable story guys i can relate to this <laughs> very very common to have parents that like to enjoy <laughs> drinking alcohol i'm not a drinker you understand except palm wine hey i don't joke with palm wine drinking alcohol like occasionally is not a bad thing but the problem with uh, these villagers is they abuse it they drink from morning to night that one is a sickness for sure if you are a drinker like that you need help nobody wakes up in the morning the first thing you do is to drink even if you don't have nine to five there must be something serious you should do first normally people that drink they drink when they must have finished their business you know tired then they are in shiban in the beer parlor relaxing some they drink once a week some they drink you know it depends really me hey i can relate very well when it comes to this one i've seen people very very early in the morning they are already like drunk 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 and there's nothing that can destroy someone like this kind of lifestyle because as soon as you drink you are now intoxicated you are now intoxicated intoxicated you don't want to hear any other thing you are now in another world and that is how every other thing about that person will be falling apart if you are a family person your children for sure will suffer it if you you can't be listening to your child telling you that uh, he needs school fees when you are drunk it will not enter <laughs> hey it's not like the communication will not be possible so it's very very common i can relate very well to all that he shared here but what i don't understand now is now guys there's another thing that came to my mind watching this guy you remember when nasto went to mombasa with uh, majeke they went to this not mombasa it was in nairobi they went to this giraffe place and nasto made attempt to hook up with uh, muzungus there he attempted like more than he attempted with three women to kickstart something now someone dropped in the comment 
why I'm saying this, someone dropped in the comment that actually this guy met his wife because his wife came to Kenya for charity work. That was how they got to meet. And then she took him to Spain. You understand? So could that be the reason why Nasto was making all that moves? Could that be the reason why? Drop in the comment section and let me know. Because overthinking will not kill Coco Mama. I'm beginning to think, ah, maybe Nasto is also dreaming to be like his cousin. And I can see that they look alike. This guy is also cousin of Mike Venture. That one, yes, they resemble a lot. My Venture and um, this guy, Chef Matiko. Nasto looks as if uh, he's a bit petite. You guys should leave me alone. This is my IMO. I'm just saying it. I didn't know that. Yesterday that uh, I was reacting that Nasto came to take advantage of this guy, Chef Matiko. I didn't know that they were actually related. You go that they were causes. Now, there's another thing that this guy mentioned on this his recent video that the environment where they grew up, that it was the same, like they were all together with the Marawas. Mm, I heard it from him. But he never said anything like uh, that Virginia being his closest friend or close friend while growing up. I didn't hear that part. Mm -hmm. Again, you will see that truth is what unfolding nicely. <laughs> Our Davidino will come and claim. Oh, he's my good friend. Oh, we were very close. Davidino, hide your face. Liars everywhere. Let's round it up with the collaboration that Bajeke and Vlog with Mickey. Mickey, Mickey. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey will never do video without talking about haters. You are number one hater. If all you can do when you guys are hiding in the bush, doing all this collaboration. Nikki, you are a student nurse. What are you still doing in Yabohanse? Eh? And guys, she has lost weight. All I am seeing on her face now is bones. I'm beginning to be worried about this girl. Eh? Hey! I hope she's eating, you know. Because I don't understand. She has stayed too long in Yabohanse. She's been everywhere and everywhere. Even Majeke mistakenly said, if you are single, Mickey is here. And then he got himself. You guys, I told you that we're in a movie here. But in between, you will see them dropping the truth. We, we know, even no matter how they try to hide the truth, we can tell. This Mickey Mickey, as a student nurse, I will say it over and over. As a student nurse, you can be studying nursing. Nursing. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing. You can't be studying nursing and you are this busy in Yabohanze. With all the subjects, with all the exams. I don't know how nursing in Kenya is. But judging from nursing in Nigeria, a student nurse, like even when you come on holidays, even when you come back to your parents' house, because of too much study, you have... I remember that time, we, we used to soak our legs inside water like this. We used to immerse, like if, if, during exams, because you don't want to fail. Our lecturers will make it clear to you that if you fail, you are not going to the next class because you are going to kill a human being. <laughs> if you fail, you are not going to the next class. Our lecturers, they will make it clear to you. If you fail, you are going to repeat that class because you are dealing with life. You are not dealing with an animal. Especially something that has to do with drug, mathematics, anatomy, and physiology, microbial. In fact, all our courses, you have to struggle to pass. At night, in order to keep yourself awake, if you have an exam the next morning, you bring a big bucket. Because, of course, we have our bucket. We normally bath with the bucket. You go to the tank, collect water. So you bring that bucket pour water into it almost to the brim and then soak your two legs to keep yourself awake guys true stories to study nursing very very difficult after going through that then to do the board exams this board exams is done by external body okay like the whole federation the whole nigeria is the one people that will come to conduct the exam you know the examiners that will come they come from all over the country like if you are in Igbo land your examiner might be a Yoruba person like you don't even know this person and then if you are a lecturer 
in Igbo land, you might be moved to the other part of the country. It's like that. It's done nationally. If you fail, because the person that will mark you is... I remember also that time when you are writing your exam, they will tell you, oh, this is a standard body. You have to really make sure that your handwriting is legible because you don't know your marker. The person that will mark your papers might actually fail you because the person cannot read out what you have written or the person did not understand whether you got the answer correctly or not. It was chaotic like that, like that. Nursing is not easy. And even as a student nurse, when you go for practicals, this uh, this one that I'm talking is the classroom phase, right? When you go on the practical, whereby we are sent to hospitals like psychiatric hospital, orthopedic hospital, general hospital in different states, okay? When you get there, during the huddle in the morning, the nurses, I mean the ones that are working, are the ones that are allowed to sit. As a student nurse, you only get to sit down when you get back to your parents' house or to your hostel. That is the only time you get time. You have to keep standing and observing and helping and learning at the same time. And most of the time, this, your mentor, the person you know, showing you through the procedure, oh, how to do the dressing, or oh, how to sterilize this, or oh, how to do documentation, the person helping you out, you know, leading you, the person that you are shadowing, most of the times will let you do the tedious ones. I have a picture here that I want to insert so that you guys can understand. You see this round the table now. All the people sitting down there, they are nurses that are working in this hospital. We, we are the student nurses from different schools of nursing, okay? And you can see how we are standing. <laughs> you can see how we were standing. We will stand like that until they finish the huddle. And when you start going for rounds, going for medication rounds, going for doctor's round, you are also standing like that. Except when you are on break or when you have finished your duty. And Mickey Mickey will be roaming around like this, calling herself a student nurse. Well, I don't know how it works in Kenya. I don't know Kenyan system when it comes to nursing. Maybe nursing is easy in Kenya. But in Nigeria, hmm, you would rather go for any other cause than to go for nursing. Nursing, you have to prepare your mind first. You have to sacrifice yourself. You know, bring yourself to nothing. <laughs> hey! For that three years, for that years, you have to bring yourself to nothing. I think it was even when I went for my midwifery, after I finished my nursing, I went for my midwifery. It was that time that I felt a little bit comfortable studying midwifery. Except during exams, of course, exams you have to work hard. You have to be in class. You cannot like, oh, class is going on, you are in Yabohansi, like seriously. I'm still in doubt that this girl is a nursing student. Otherwise, tell me why she's still in Yabohansi. Eh? Oh my goodness. Mind you, in nursing, we do year one, year two, year three, okay? Like in Nigeria, nursing is three years. Then after that, you go for your midwifery. So, your year one... <laughs> you will only get vacation, probably midterm, like uh, one week, and then you have to come back to school. And again, in nursing, most people that study nursing, you don't study nursing from home. You have to stay in the hostel, except if you are married, you will be exempted. If you are married and you are close to the school, or you can rent a place close to the school. Some schools don't even take married people. Some schools, once you fall pregnant, they throw you out. You have to go and deliver your baby and then come back and start all over. Mm -hmm. You guys, I don't understand. This girl, she will always complain about, Hey, hate us, hate us. They make you to grow. I don't have any problem if they are using my name to eat. Huh? Are using your name to eat like you feel like you are something on this place. Without the Virginia that you are deceiving yourself with. Guys, I want to say one thing here. This girl is no longer with the Virginia. Because Mazeke even said it without knowing. And these guys, they don't know how to edit these things. Mazeke was like, hey, if you are single here. And then they started laughing. <laughs> Mickey Mickey is no longer with the Virginia. Forget about this lip service for a white team. Because one, 
they want to keep playing this so that it will keep working for them. You understand? It's all about what? View, 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 viewership. Tell me who is missing our DK and BT, our Burundians. Hopefully, we will look into their matter in our next one. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, let's watch this, guys. Go to his YouTube channel and check that video because he also hosted me the other day yeah. on his YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Let me help. You know, you have to be gentle. Hey. But, but you know, you you but know you know, I'm, I'm, I'm married. I know. Yeah. I I so, I am. I'm, I'm not married. I. You are really. You are almost there, right? I'm almost there, guys. Yeah. And you really love Dorina, right? Yeah, yeah, I really do. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. When are you guys inviting me to the wedding? You know, I'm ready to go and make my dress for the wedding. You just come. You will be the. Well, what do we call them? Best maid. Best mates. Ah. Yeah. You're invited. Are you sure? Yes. You're Are you invited. Sure? Yeah. When is that? Very soon. Very soon. Mm. I saw you wanted to Nini. I don't know if you wanted to go and take a house for her. Live, start yeah, living yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why did uh, you choose that? Because I want us to know each other and mm -hmm. yeah. You haven't known each other yet? We have known each other but mm -hmm. uh we really need to live together then get to know each other the weaknesses the strength you know mm -hmm. are you are saying that uh, the most challenge thing you've ever faced on youtube done okay i can say um uploading videos Le my videos getting a lost like that is the biggest challenge yeah like i remember you do one a video, day i was yeah. with you and your video got lost yeah imagine imagine you imagine. created a whole video a 30 minutes video yeah. uh, the time you want to upload it it's, it's not, not there seen. yeah it was very it's really hard so guys don't take the the love and support so yeah. those who always support us no matter what no matter the hate people are trying to give us out there but always coming back to check on us watch our videos we really appreciate yeah, yeah but me what i can say the haters keep on hating because mm -hmm. god we blesses haters, you yeah. we can't be successful yeah. in life so yeah yeah so i really believe in uh, what i do mm -hmm. i really believe in the i really believe in hard work and uh, everything so mm -hmm. if you hate it's on your own uh, god is there for us god is there for all of us if you are single and uh, <laughs> Yeah, but she's married. Yes. I'm not. Am I married? Yeah, I am in a relationship. In a relationship, yeah. What is going on here? If you are single, um, she's married. Oh, I'm not married. I'm in a relationship. She's none of the above. <laughs> she's not married. She's not in a relationship. She's none of the above. Majeke, Majeke, what is going on? You want to live with Dorina without marrying her so that you get to know her. Guys, I thought I have heard it all. I thought I have seen it all. One that shall never end in the Yapohanse. Can somebody wake me up? You are looking for a place to move out to stay with someone who you are not married to. Because you want to understand her first. You want to learn her first. There's no marriage between these two. Until I see them in front of a pastor eh, or a priest. Until I see that, and I have to verify that it's not Konakonarin Wano. These guys are just in a movie again. Remember last week he took her for pedicure, did a whole lot of shopping for her, and I was thinking that, oh, this dude is serious. Now I don't understand. This girl was even asking him, so don't you know her? Up to now, you've not known her to an extent. Up to now, you are not yet convinced that, oh, is this person really your wife or not? I don't get it. Up to now, you are still like in doubt. Come on, Majeke. When is the wedding? You don't know. But you are looking for a place so that you will go and finish her. You want to learn her. <laughs> you want to learn, you want to go and study her. You are looking for a place to move in with Dorina so that you will start studying her. Who does that? You have to cut her from your parents' house. You don't have to move in with her. Meeting her 
once in a while can tell you a lot. You guys can at least go on a date, see each other once in a while, and check it out. Are you compatible? Do other background check-ins and everything. Not moving in with someone's child. You want to go and study her. You want to go and finish her and then throw her outside and come back like us, the holy man, to complain. What I saw, I didn't like it. <laughs> hey! Wonder shall never end. Ooh. I thought I have seen it all. There's something else that they shared here that I can relate with. Nikki, Nikki, when you are interviewing someone and you ask that person a question, allow that person to answer. You, the interruption was too much. I, I, I felt so nauseated because Mickey Mickey will ask Majeke, and you know Majeke is a slow talker. You understand? I wouldn't say he's a stammerer, but he talks slow like that. Mickey Mickey kept interrupting him. Mickey Mickey kept putting words into his mouth. It's not nice. So Mickey Mickey asked him the biggest challenge he has faced here as a YouTuber. He said losing his content like trying to upload a video and the video is not there it happened to me two days ago guys you see this video i dropped yesterday i dropped it the other that day. video was meant for wednesday evening i now ended up re-uploading it again because the video got infected from where i don't know my voice was just playing out up to three minutes no pictures <laughs> hey i said to myself no 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 so I really felt bad for people that watched it before I privated it and then re-uploaded it again yesterday. I'm really, really sorry, guys. You guys should pardon me. You guys should understand that these things, it happens. Eh? It has happened to me. I've done a video like this, edited it out. I didn't know that the video was not yet saved from the editing app. And I went and deleted the original one. Hey, guys. If you see the frustration, I had to again, thank goodness that it was on a weekend. If it was not on a weekend, there's no way I will film that video. Definitely, there will be no content that day. It's not easy. We face a lot of technical issues here. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Some people think that if you are doing reaction for anything, we do make it no fall, fall, fall. Because I'm not saying anybody, Mama. I try to take what's on the summer and water. When I tell you, say, I love you, I want to stop, stop, stop. I try to love upon me, I love up, up. Because I'm not so lonely, Gaga. I will still catch you, be Dada. Slow, I put it on me. No lie, I could talk to you, please. You are a reactor, you are not doing enough, you are just simply sitting. Welcome back to my channel. And all these big, big, big fishes, I don't understand it. They are the ones always saying these things. And I begin to ask myself, are you guys really knowledgeable about how YouTube works? Or were you just opportune to be up there? Do you guys really understand that we are all in our different departments here and everybody is important? If you get what I mean. If you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. You are the bestest. Without you guys, like, how impossible? How possible is it going to be? Am I crazy? Dropping videos every day. Hey, without you guys, there will be no Coco Mama here. It's a simple arithmetic. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your criticisms. Thank you for your non comment. You see this non comment? Uh, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. There's one lazy member that said to me, Coco Mama, I confess. You know, you got to me, Coco Mama. You always say thank you for your non comments. Oh, these people watching and they're not commenting. You made me to feel bad. Now, from being a non commenter, now she is a commenter. Shout out to you. I don't want to call your name out, but you know yourself. Yes. You are all important to me. All of you guys. Yes, I mean you. You. Thank you for all you do for Coco Mama. I don't know how I'm going to express how I feel with the amount of support I get from you guys. Hey, you guys are simply amazing. I love and appreciate you all. I'll see you in my another photo. Peace out, peace out, peace out, peace out, peace out. Peace out. Bye bye. When I tell you, I love you, I want to touch, touch, touch. You try to love up on me, I love up, up. Cause I'm tired to love me, dada. I go still catch you, be dada. Slow, I put it on me.